After being told to accept any film offer to become famous, Anulka Jubinska quickly left Playboy and acted in the now classic flick, Vampires. But later in life, she made a shocking confession. Anulka admitted she never saw the film once because she was ashamed. But what led her to feel like this? But before we're going to get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. We'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Anulka Jubinska spent her teenage years traveling the world. Jubinska was born in 1950 in Lancashire, England. Growing up, she attended St. John Fisher Roman Catholic School where she started showing interest in acting. When she turned 15, Jubinska traveled most of the Western world living at times in London, Madrid, Bilbao, Hamburg, Rome, and Paris. She hated living like the rest of society. Although Jubinska started working as a dental nurse in Preston, she found the routine of a 9-to-5 job boring and quickly got fed up with living that way. So in the early 1970s, Jubinska entered a beauty contest and managed to be the finalist in the Miss United Kingdom contest. Soon after that, she got an offer to simultaneously work and model for the Playboy Club in London. For the next five months, Jubinska would be a blackjack Playboy bunny. After that, she spent some time in Munich in hopes of continuing her modeling career. It was at this time she met Pompeo Posar, who photographed her for the summer 1972 issue of Playboy, in which she appeared in The Girls of Munich. The model's first film went on to become a classic adult film. Jubinska was featured topless on the third page of the British tabloid newspaper The Sun. Furthering her modeling career, she became the Playboy Playmate of the Month in 1973. Soon after, Jubinska decided to go for acting and made her film debut in The Vampires. The way she got her way into acting was by meeting actor Sir John Mills. In an interview later in life, Jubinska revealed how it all happened. I adored Haley, so I went over to talk to him about my favorite film of all time, Whistle Down the Wind, which I've seen four million times. I said to him that I was an actress and that I'd been acting since I was at school, and then I asked him if he had any advice, and he said, do everything you're offered because everything you do will give you some experience. So Jubinska went to act in The Vampires the very next day. Jubinska's scenes were so taboo, most of them were cut. Jose Raymond Larraz's 1974 cult classic Vampires isn't about vampires more than it is directed from a sensual point of view. It's a flat out adult flick with fangs or at least very unnatural teeth. Sadly, a couple of minutes of the film have been routinely cut by censors primarily because of its adult content with women, which was not really considered morally appropriate back in the day. It mainly consists of characters wandering around in the darkness, inching closer and closer to their inevitable doom. Anolka Jubinska and Marianne Morris star as a pair of vampires who seduce men into entering their gothic mansion, which they have presumably borrowed. The actresses didn't really have any real vampire attributes and functioned more like man-eaters. Morris falls for one of her victims, but there are a few scares throughout the movie. However, the lovemaking scenes are awkwardly framed and choreographed, while the viciousness of the male actors is so gloomy, it didn't surprise fans more than the buckets of fake blood did. She almost went broke and failed in acting. Jubinska then played in Ken Russell's rock musical Listomania, as Lolo Montez, and as Down in the comedy The Lucky Lads. On the other hand, Jubinska's first television appearance were as Pavla in two episodes of The Tomorrow People and as a girl in an episode of The New Avengers. Up until now, Jubinska had only acted in British television, but in the late 70s, there was a decline in the British film industry. The taxes that actors pay doubled and the demand for actors decreased rapidly. Finding a job as a beginner actress was scarce. That is the reason why many British actresses decided to leave the country and move to Hollywood. Jubinska, on the other hand, was stubborn and tried to overcome the film industry crisis in Britain, but money started running low, and since the thought of returning back to her 95 job terrified her, she decided to just book a plane ticket, pack her things, and head over to Hollywood like many other British actresses. It only took her one photo to reach fame again. 
Upon arriving in the USA, Jubinska hadn't the slightest clue of what she was doing. She needed to live frugally, just in case finding a job as an actress would take longer than usual. She then went to the Writers and Artists Agency in Beverly Hills with an 8x10 publicity photograph, which got her immediately signed. The actress then continued her career for years to come. During that time, she also met her husband, American musician Tony Sales. The couple had their wedding in Hollywood in the late summer of 1978. Unfortunately, her husband had a fatal car crash just one year after their marriage. Doctors gave him only a small chance to survive, as Sales failed to wake up from a coma. However, he did make a full recovery and woke up eight months after. She went through a horrible divorce. Jubinska then continued her acting career and was cast as Frances in the McLean Stevenson sitcom Hello, Larry episode The Nude MC, with other shows like Magnum P.I., Bare Essence, and Sonia Louis-Dreyfus following along. In the 1980s, her marriage with Sales was in crisis. The couple had many problems between them, but the major thing that separated them completely is that they both changed as people. Jupinska wanted to settle and enjoy a more calming family-like life, while Sales wasn't really ready for children and wanted to continue his career. This sparked constant debate, eventually diminishing the love they had for each other. The couple had enough, and they decided to file for divorce in May 1984. Her transition from seducing actress to a family devoted florist. One year later, Jubinska married Japanese hairstylist Horoshi Kitamura in Los Angeles. The actress went on to have two children with her second husband. After creating a family of her own, Jubinska decided to give up acting for good. When her children had reached a certain age where they no longer needed intensive care, Jubinska started work in the Nobu Japanese restaurant in North La Cienica Boulevard in Beverly Hills. During this time, she also decided to follow her husband's religion and converted to Buddhism. Now a practitioner of Zen Buddhism, Enoko Kitamura co-wrote the book Zen Flowers, Designs to Soothe the Senses and Nourish the Soul, which was linked to the religion. In 2003, she returned to Britain to appear in the short documentary Return of the Vampires. The co-stars reminisce about filming their intense scenes, tasting peppermint-flavored blood, and becoming amused by their volatile director with their broken English and tendency to rip his hair out in exasperation. Both actresses showed their confusion by the experience and clearly didn't want to be a part of the film's target audience. Anolka even said during the documentary that she never fully watched the film. She only skimmed through it once upon its release. As of today, she lives in Los Angeles, where she is active in the floristry trade, owning her own flower business. Do you think Anolka Jabuska regretted her decision to act in Vampires? Let us know in the comments and check out the next video in this series.